Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. Do you have old canvas or wall art that you don't want anymore? Well, before you throw it away, take a little time to watch this video, and maybe you'll get an idea on how to update that old and ugly art piece and turn it into simple, neutral, and high-end looking wall art. I got this set of wall art pieces from our local thrift store. They were marked $5 for each, but it was Tuesday and everything was 50% off. So luckily, I got both of them for $5. Initially, I thought this part was canvas, but I knocked on it and it sounded like a plywood. So I decided to make a set of textured wall art out of them. First, I spray painted the frames with the Rust-Oleum metallic paint. The color is satin bronze. I then painted the body part with the paint I already had on hand. I was actually planning to use this paint for all of my interior doors. It's Benjamin Moore's color is called Cooling Wood. It's a light ashy gray color. After the paint completely dried, I found the center point for both pieces and used the thread and the pencil to mark a half circle on each piece. And joined together, they would make a full circle. The next step is to apply the joint compound. Before applying, I mix the joint compound with the Waverly's chalk paint. The color is called a mineral. It's a neutral color with a warm tone to it. I just used the putty knife and applied the joint compound to the inner circle. You can go in any direction as there are no rules on this project. Next, I use the fork to create the pattern and wipe off the joint compound on the fork after each stroke. 
Then clean up the edges with a paper towel. And that's it. Enjoy your new texture, the wall art. I hope this easy tutorial can inspire you to update some of your old art piece, considering how much it will cost to buy a new one in stores. In the next flip, I will show you how to turn vases into aged, weathered, and textured pottery. Whenever I go to a thrift store, one thing I must do is to search for nice shaped vases. They are great for decorating your mantle, entry table, shelves, or any tabletop. I'm going to work on two vases today using the easiest technique. It only takes three steps. The first vase I got from the same thrift store with 50% off deal. As I said, the whole process only takes three steps. The first step is to apply Waverly's chalk paint to the entire vase. Just make sure the surface you are painting on is clean without any residue or any sticky substances. This will make the chalk paint adhere very easily and won't chip off later. The color I'm using is mineral. It's a light gray with a natural warm tone which I like about it very much. When you apply the paint, you want to go around the circles like the natural pottery would appear. I apply the total of three coats. Make sure the previous coat dries completely before you apply the next one. I then went to the yard to pick up some dirt from the ground and mix it with a bit of water. The soil cannot be too wet. Only a little damp is okay. I took some wet soil and just rubbed it all over the vase to make it look like it's been around for a long time. Once dry, I cleaned off the excess and then sealed it with any Sloan's dark wax. Any type of wax would work too. I highly recommend to use wax for the top coat. I had a few vases that I used a similar process with it last year. And until today, they are still my favorite decors. I have no problem cleaning them with the damp towels or even rinsing them in water a couple of times. They are still holding up perfectly. If in any area you apply the too much dark wax, you can always use the clear wax to wipe it off.
The second vase I've had for a long time. One corner was broken. I didn't want to throw it away, so I glued it back together. I thought it might be better if I used the same technique to transform it into something beautiful again. The process is pretty much the same as the first one. The only difference is I wanted a darker color this time. So I mixed the color of charcoal with the mineral to create a darker gray color. You can buy Waverly's chalk paint from a Walmart store for just a few dollars. I applied the three full coats, then wrapped some damp soil onto the vase. After it was dry, I left some of the dirt in the crevices and wiped off the excess. Then sealed it with a coat of dark wax. I love to decorate the vases with the freshly cut branches from the trees in the yard. I usually put them in a smaller bottle with some water, then place the bottle inside the vase. This way, you can arrange the branches easily. The aged vases can really bring rustic charm and the casual elegance to your living space. You can decorate a vase on its own, or in combination with the similar groups of arrangements. Whether in a classic setting or a modern home setting, these really make beautiful statement pieces. Once you start making them for yourself, you will see how easy and fun it can be. That's all for today, guys. If you made it this far. I thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks again for your support, and I will see you all next time.